Hello everyone, today we will see how to perform watershed delineation. Therefore, uh, first of all, watershed delineation by itself is try to mean uh, identifying uh, the area or bounding the area which are contributing for uh, the stream flow uh, in a given outlet. Therefore, we need to identify the area by uh, providing a line which separates contributing uh, area for from uh, another contributing area therefore in order to perform this you need to have digital vision model as you can see uh, which have uh, which has a uh, high elevation value of 375 and uh, a low elevation val value of 2000 to 189 therefore this is our uh, digital vision model therefore here we need to uh, extract this smaller digital vision model because uh, using this digital vision model the task performed for uh, watershed delineation took a bit longer a time therefore we need to reduce this uh, size of this digital vision model therefore in order to perform this we need to uh, here this is a drawing yeah this is drawing if it is not available here click right click here this one or else click here draw now it will come up uh, in this front page therefore we need to draw a rectangle here select a rectangle here yeah now identify for uh, my tutorial I have to use this region this region is enough Therefore, I have to convert this uh, rectangle to feature. Right click here. Now I have to uh, identify the saving folder. Okay, we need to save the and uh, this folder. Therefore, this is a converted graphics shape file. Graphics. We need to reduce. We need to be careful while we are performing. Okay, now click here save okay yeah here in special analysis tool click here extraction extract by mask or by polygon click this one no by mask input feature mask data this one uh, input raster click this one and uh, here output raster we need to define the output raster here open click uh, and here give nm extracted extracted is on nm ok save as type here raster let us see save here press here ok so okay. now it will reduce this digital vision model or clip uh, uh, based on our uh, interest uh, interest area therefore this this uh, shape file is due to clip uh, or extract our interest area uh, digital vision model yeah this is now as you can see this is let's uncheck here this is our extracted uh, digital vision model therefore we use, we have to use this digital vision model for uh, the purpose of watershed relationship because it took uh, 
less time using this digital vision model rather than using this digital vision model therefore i have to remove as you can see this is a huge uh, therefore performing flow duration and accumulation accumulation raster took a larger time here therefore i have to remove this one now here go spatial analysis tool here hydrology now we need to uh, fill this digital raw digital vision model here fill here this is extracted surface raster therefore of the pool raster here i have to this fill type fill this is a name which is raster that's just it click here here press ok here they did the limit optional yeah they will leave the rest as it is therefore press ok here For speeding up uh, purpose, we need to remove because we didn't uh, need to this. We, did, we didn't need this file. Therefore, remove here. This is a field digital vision model. Then flow direction here. Input surface. Input surface raster. This is that is field. Output uh, flow direction raster, and we need to give a name here and uh, select folder in which our our file can be set we leave the rest as it is as a default press ok here yeah we didn't need this converted graphics remove here this also we may need this one ok click here flow accumulation flow direction raster import here you can also use uh, using this one you can import either of uh, based on your interest you can choose using this better this downward arrow we need to uh, give the auto output accumulation raster folder and uh, nm accumulation Accumulation, okay, it's enough. Let's press here, save. I uh, will leave, uh, leave the optional values as it is. The default one, okay, press here, okay. As you can see, this is low accumulation raster. Now, we need to provide the our watershed outlet point therefore imagine let's imagine this is uh, our stream and uh, we need to provide uh, if we need it, uh, to provide an outlet here Okay. Okay, add XY. Or here you can add a point, a marker here. That's a point. Assume this is an outlet for demonstration purposes. This video is for demonstration purpose and uh, convert this one as a graphics, as uh, convert graphics to feature here. Okay, this is point file. Therefore, open this one and uh, name it sample outlet here outlet. Now, okay, save here, press OK here as well. Yeah, this is a sample of it.
Okay. This is our shape file in the our outlet in the, the form of shape file. Therefore, we need to snap snap here snap point here input raster or feature for point data this is our point no accumulation raster you need to provide this one here we need to zoom as well here yeah as you can see this is our pro point therefore snap distance we can also measure snap distance here Okay, we can measure here using a ruler here. We can measure this snapping distance from here, here to here. That is around 15 meter. Therefore, we can stop. We can give an M around. Ten meter horizontal snaps. Forty meter around, yeah. You can take this. Around twenty meter. You can snap here a distance. Twenty meter. Okay, twenty meter here. And now we need to provide output raster. Snap four point point here given name this is our poor point therefore we snapped this uh, our previous sample of rates to the uh, this line therefore therefore we now the only meter we have given therefore press ok here as you can see, the right, the proper point is located. As you can see, now, now we can remove this one. This is for identifying our uh, used for our identifying our original out to out our watershed outlet. Therefore, this is enough. There, then click here watershed. This one. This is the, the final one to perform watershed definition. Therefore, here input flow direction raster here. Drag this one or here you can insert from here flow direction. There is input raster or feature for point that is feature for point is this one. You can drag back. Okay. Yeah, this is point. Okay, optional, yeah. We leave the rest, the rest as it is, and uh, we need to identify the outlet uh, raster. Right click here, this one. Delineate watershed. Watershed. Okay, it's long. Okay. Okay, it's a long name. We need to reduce. Yeah, now it's right. Press here, okay. 
now using arc map you can delimit your water shape in such a ways uh, you click this one will extend yeah as you can see this is your water sheet this is your water sheet you can also convert this water sheet into a shape file from raster to you can you can convert using a conversion tool here from raster to polygon you can uh, convert your water sheet based on your uh, interest of data type as a vector or, or as a raster therefore if you just click this is your water sheet in the polygon feature here this is our blur give you a name here polygon water sheet polygon polygon click here now as you can see this is our uh, shape file this is our shape file this is our shape file this is a raster file therefore we can uh, delete in such a way uh, the other one you can delete is using arc swat you can also create a new swat project and finally perform automatic water sheet delineation you can delete your water sheet using arc swat but here the problem is you cannot uh, if the um, uh, stream you, you if you have a minor streams it may not uh, show you in uh, this water sheet uh, it may not show you the streams which are uh, which have uh, less cell size in a flow accumulation raster but here as you can see you can also here increase the numbers of streams but here the, this one is the main stream these are uh, tributary streams as you can see you can also increase the numbers of tributaries here as you can see here classify into two classify plus here classify as you can see the numbers of streams uh, by changing uh, this range by changing this range the numbers of stream can be increased therefore break value let's imagine 2000 or 5000 or 4000 or 2000 now okay that's okay here if we click apply the numbers of smaller streams uh, can be increased in such a way let's let's change to 5000 Five thousand is enough. Press it okay. If you click okay, you can you can uh, identify streams and uh, it's possible uh, to identify using uh, this flow accumulation raster. But here in where SWAT, this task may be uh, difficult to uh, identify those minor streams, as you can see. But here. This alternative is the right one and the better one, I think, for me. It's helpful and uh, about water shade initial. This is all about for today, and thank you very much for your time. Please subscribe, uh, I will post many videos, and those videos will be uh, relevant for your water resource uh, research projects and uh, for your total development of in your education career and thank you very much have a good day